communities that have retained their cattle and still have a nomadic pastoral lifestyle are actually better off than the communities that have lost their cattle and are sedentarized. Boreholes have been dug across the region with the aim of helping the communities, providing them with much needed water. But in the long term, the boreholes tend to fix the communities in one place, contributing to overgrazing, and they accelerate the depletion of the water table. The United Nations Humanitarian Coordinator for Uganda, Theofan Nikema, describes how the UN is engaged in addressing the challenge of sustainable development in Karamoja. Uh, the UN support to Karamoja is part of what we call the humanitarian support so far. So, so therefore, right now what we do in consultation with the local authorities, we identify the needs um, and, in, and with our different partners, including the NGOs, uh, once these needs are identified, then we prepare what we call a cash appeal. We have what we call a cash appeal process, which is really a, um, uh, an analysis, uh, a tool for analysis and, uh, you know, uh, and resource mobilization so as we can support specific activities in, in, uh, in Kalamoja specifically as humanitarian actors. The United Nations World Food Programme is the most important international agency involved in the region. It distributes food to more than 600,000 people, almost two-thirds of the population of Karamoja. We are taking to Matan, the dead, the places, Lukopoi. That's where we are trying to take the food. So we are taking food to this village, 26. The World Food Programme was actually one of the first agencies to operate in Karamoja, and it has been very active ever since the historical famine of 1980 that decimated one-fifth of the total population. For many years, the WFP was pretty much on its own working in Karamoja. Still today, only a handful of NGOs are providing support to the region. But the tide is turning, as several UN agencies have recently opened offices in the city of Moroto, at the heart of Karamoja. A few years ago, Moroto was still a small town. With its rapid transformation into a modern urban centre came many negative side effects. Urban poverty, environmental degradation, and the destabilization of social structures go hand in hand with more sedentarized lifestyles. These challenges may be further weakening the people's capacity to settle conflicts and live in peaceful coexistence. Conflict resolution is at the heart of the European Union's vision for cooperation with Uganda, as expressed by the Ambassador Vincent de Fischer, head of delegation of the European Commission to the Republic of Uganda. I think when we see what's happening in Kenya, the message in the, uh, the year of intercultural dialogue is precisely that you have to take advantage of your diversity to build your unity. And we try to influence uh, the government. We are going to take this year an initiative which is uh, the cross-border dialogue. The conflict, the root cause of the conflict in Karamoja has also its roots in the, uh, in the region and not only in Karamoja. We would like to have uh, a dialogue across the border between South Sudan, uh, northern uh, Kenya, and to, to see Uganda leading this, this dialogue, this political dialogue, because uh, it's important that uh, uh, we can stabilize the whole region, not only the Karamoja. And it's important that this pastoralism approach is understood uh, first, and I think that we have to learn, I mean, the uh, African patient, I mean, and address the, the things uh, maybe at a slower pace that we would like to, but I think it's important to be uh, persistent and continue the dialogue. There can be a sustainable future for Karamoja if violence is curbed and if the vicious cycles of unsustainable development are broken. 
How to envision the future for a sustainable pastoralism? How can East African states, the international community and NGOs work together to address people's concerns? Patrick Abongi of the Katakui Foundation insists on the long-term benefits of genuine peace building. The gun cannot solve everything. The government does its part, deploy the anti-stock safety unit, it's fine, it's good to minimize, but peaceful, peaceful means of resolving this conflict is the only way that works. In our journey across Karamoja, we met a young man named Lopeta, who used to raid cows with his AK-47 some years ago. <laughs> My people na benda me me long time ago, long time ago I was a raider. Nowadays I am a peacemaker. I am teaching people about the peace in Karamoja. Oh my people accept the peace. Oh my warriors accept the peace. Me will be the navigator damsel. Oh kilamutu na benda me me. Jogadia na benda me me. Jose Camilo na benda me me. Bobby Wine na benda me me. Emperor Lando na benda me me. My people na benda me me. My NG was na benda me me. Long time ago I was a raider. Long time ago I was a raider. Nowadays I am a peacemaker. I am teaching people about to peace in Karamoja. Oh my.